Taste of the Town on CBS News Miami is sponsored by Goya. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Visit Goya.com today. Okay, it's Friday. Taste of the Town is up our alley. And this one brings Asian flavors to a family-friendly spot in Pember Pines. Bayoshi Food Hall is more than just a hot spot for exotic cuisine. It looks so good. So it's a testament to family heritage and culinary passion created by a young visionary raised in his family's Chinese restaurant at this very location. CBS News Miami's Lisa Petrillo takes us there. Welcome to Bayoshi Food Hall and Bar. Now officially in the heart of Pembroke Pines, this innovative Asian food hall, bar, and market promises an immersive culinary experience. It started back in 2015 when my parents opened the restaurant. Uh, back then it was Gold Marquez, and we were serving Cantonese cuisine. Fast forward a little, just recently, about two years ago, they decided to retire and so I made this into a food hall. The result, a specially curated food hall featuring five Asian food concepts, including Gold Marques, his family's original spot. There's dining inside and out, as well as a full bar specializing in creative cocktails, like this gemstone teeny with Michi's. The name Bayoshi fits Filbert's vision. So the vision I had and the reason why it's called Bayoshi, it's because it's a hidden gem. We are in the suburbs, we are in Pemmer Pines, but we are trying to serve the people who don't want to drive all the way to Miami, all the way to Fort Lauderdale, and just come by around uh, just a few minutes away from their house. First stop, the kitchen at Temple Street Eatery, a second outpost for the restaurant, which originated in Fort Lauderdale, known for its Latin-Asian fusion cuisine. Co-owner Diego Ng, born in Venezuela and raised in Pembroke Pines, explained their concept of global Chino-Latino food. We do a lot of street food from uh, either it is China, Japan, Korea, Vietnamese, so we give a toe to all different cultures, and we want to kind of like showcase that here in, uh, in South Florida. Here they prepare the intricate Godzilla ramen, a bowl of joy with ropa vieja, noodles, scallions, bean sprouts, pork, fish broth, and more. It's everything and then some, and so delicious. You can have it as spicy as you want. It's perfection. Next, we sample classics from the original Gold Marques, including a beautifully plated pineapple shrimp fried rice and a dim sum platter with veggie spring rolls and an assortment of delicious dumplings. A crazy comfort food. It's just like warm and just inviting and soft and the flavors inside with the chicken dumpling are excellent. And finally, pure decadence with a mind-blowing matcha vanilla boba waffle from Boba Street Cafe topped with caramel and the kitchen sink. This is a monster and it's wonderful and delicious, sweet, indulgent. Can you just leave me here all day with this? I'm bringing Phil back to help me with the dessert, okay? Yes, absolutely. Uh, all right, well, tell me, how many days you're open here at Bayoshi? We're open seven days a week, lunch and dinner, and open really late. All right, with a fantastic taste of the town here in Pembroke Pines, I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS News Miami, more dessert.